hits with a mighty axe there, and a very, very <laughs> trying to attack the cluster bots. They are maddening those little things. Look at the flailing chain as well. Nasty. Our team is a democracy, so no one has any idea what we're doing pretty much. <laughs> We wanted to build nuts because we wanted to bring something more entertaining to the sport. Nuts is a two-wheel drive flail spinner. It's completely crazy, you don't know where it's going in the arena most of the time. Our theory is that if we don't know where it's going, the other team don't either. Nuts is a very difficult robot to catch, so a lot of the more precise robots like the flippers have a very difficult time catching up with it and throwing it around. Nuts have made an effort. Nuts have made a special with the hats and the jackets and the whole thing. And a robot that it will be polite to describe as more agricultural looking, let's say. And what does it do? What does, how does it fight? We, we, we're not actually sure. It's, the idea is to just confuse everybody, including ourselves. We're not quite sure how it's going to react or anything. Does this one have mini bots as well? Or yes. Yep. This, one, this has a separate side. There are separate robots. And it releases these robots, does yes. it? I like yeah. the way, by the way, you put the eyes on the Go robot. Googly oh. eyes are a must for all robots. Yes. They're not optional. But we have we have two of these. They're completely sacrificial. We intend, if we're up against anyone particularly nasty, to basically just drive straight into it. And what are they in the skate pod, or do they actually have any effect at all? They we, well, well, we, we're well, hoping we, that they just gum up the works of the other robots, so we stand yeah. a chance of nuts. I think yeah. that's as. That's our big hope. You know, like and if Nuts really gets damaged, then, you know, we'll just drive these in and just hope for the best. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, Nuts. Thank you. Thank you. Robot Tears, stand by. The four teams in the control room. Only two places in the competition available. <laughs> Big question here, who can beat the mighty Razor? Coming out bottom of the picture and taking on Killy Cranky immediately. Oh, out come the little cluster bots of nuts. We've got mayhem here because Terahertz is going after nuts. The little cluster bots will come out and try and wedge in underneath opponents and flip them up and over. Terahertz with a mighty axe there and a very, very experienced driver in John Reed. And it's Razor crushing down on Killy Cranky with that deadly hydraulic piercer, nine tons of pressure, three tons at the tip of the claw. You don't want to mess with Razor. There's the Matilda cam looking on from the CPZ. Oh, they've activated the pit. Down goes the pit. Now, someone could be on the edge of doom very shortly, and it was very nearly nuts. You can see the flailing chain, and there the self-writing mechanism. The protective ring acts as a streamer to keep it going, whichever way it topples, and it spins and attacks there. Terahertz, Razor after the little cluster bots. They look mini, don't they? Against the mighty Terahertz. Very experienced team. No more experience, of course, than Razor in the whole competition. I would think Matilda's out and Browning. That's a ghastly sight. I see here in my nightmares every single night. Killy Cranky after a little, little bitty cluster bot. Very experienced driver Ian Lewis of Razor. Just saw him there. And the mayhem continues at a little bit of a slower pace because they've measured the fight now. They know what they're doing, and Razor has got once again Killy Cranky in its grip. That spin his target all the way through. Nuts is spinning in a crazy fashion, but doing damage. And it looks to me as if Killy Cranky is in trouble. Razor has Killy Cranky. Oh no! Look at this! Oh! The mighty have fallen! They took Killy Cranky out and went themselves! Oh, what a close shave that was for Nuts! <laughs> what happened? Did it skip? He spun his wheels. And look at the boys from Nuts! They've got more tricks up their sleeves than Darren Brown, they say! And they're stunned, they're through! What a sensational start! Can hardly catch my breath. Let's have a look at it again. There's Terahertz immediately against Nuts. It was a personal battle, but Nuts rode that one and got away from the mighty axe as it crashed down. Razor has picked up one of the little cluster bots, virtually destroyed that. Here they go towards the pit with Prey Killy Cranky, and they overbalanced and went in. And Razor sensationally out. Oh, cue surprises there. Killy Cranky, can I come to you first? It hadn't been tested in battle. 
Yeah. That was his first run out. Yeah. You know, so you weren't. I, I presume you weren't expecting to win the whole thing with a with a brand new robot. How do you think it, it is? It's unlikely. I think I think it was very good actually. I mean, we the tactics were we opened the pit, and then Razor clearly had it in for us. So we yes. thought, well, let's go for a mutual death pact and take them down <laughs> with us. Did you do you have any control over that? Were you spinning your wheels and thinking you you may have drawn him in in any way? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he clasped onto us, and yes. then we drove all the way across the arena into the pit. <laughs> that wasn't clear from what we were watching there at all. You killed <laughs> Razor. You killed <laughs> Razor. You took yourselves out of the game yeah. for the greater good. This is a big deal for a lot of people who were very scared of Razor, thought that Razor was the one thing that could defeat them. This may have changed the entire competition. And do you know who's particularly happy with you? These <laughs> people there. <laughs> who nobody expected. <laughs> who went in with really the kitchen sink of a robot. Yeah. Yeah. What was it doing half the time? Oh, yeah. it's, it's a good question. <laughs> there seemed to be a sort of team up between terahertz and razor Lil. So they weren't fighting amongst them. So we seemed to got the terahertz and the deer, which we were right with. We were right with axes and yeah. I had our mini bots. But, but then razor went after one of your mini bots. And got destroyed yeah. at yeah. one stage. Well, they, they were sacrificial, so you know. Yeah. The, one, the one thing we armoured against was axes. And it was taking blow after blow from terahertz and absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Fantastic. You're in the head to head. Congratulations, yeah. Yeah. Their rivals and rank outsiders not still can't believe their luck. The whole thing for us, we wanted to turn up and survive round one, and then all bets are off in round two. So we're, we're thrilled that we actually get to achieve something. If it gets written off in the next round, that's fine. So be it. If we get to fight and we might pull off another shot victory, we'll be doing that too. That's yeah, good. but it's all fun. It's just we came it's, here it's for fun. It's such a rush. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, we won't know. There's no visible. People thought they were just a joke entry, cute looking, really very harmless. But actually, you could see that as a result of that battle. Uh, it made a huge difference in the overall scheme of things. Controlled chaos can result in unexpected results. The complex process of rebuilding is in full flow now for some... We have no weaknesses, say Bearmoth. We'll wait and see. Not say they don't know what they're doing. Sounds like many students I've known in the past. They're not trying to attack the cluster bots. They are maddening, those little things. Look at the flailing chain as well. Natty clothes, fluffy clobber. Are they going to get clobbered in the arena? Out comes the spikes. Haven't seen them really in play so far. Whoa, Nuts managed to dodge between the spikes. No, I do not want to be there. No, 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 no. But they don't want to be there. They're absolutely right. They're caught in the pincers there. Yeah, my wheels went there. Spin, Rory, spin. They need to spin away. That's just spinning and twirling and doing nothing. It can't affect Bermot, surely. In comes that massive scooping blade of Bermot. Anthony Pritchard, the driver, very experienced. Took one week to build Bermot and 14 years of upgrades have gone into this. Look at the flailing chain, though. The main weaponry of nuts. Up went the arena flipper. <laughs> Did you see that? And look at this. Get out of it. You're an irritant. So, oh, it's still going. Is it the little cluster? But they are both still going. Red engineering in there then, and tenacity. They want to watch that tail spinner of Matilda. And Bearmoth didn't watch out. They can self right. They are a lumbering great 108-kilo machine. They will take some shifting. In comes Matilda. You don't want to tackle the rear end of Matilda, that's for sure. Over goes Nuts. Let me remind you, they have a 3 mech themselves with that protective ring. But this is a good contest. Takes a battery. They're still in fighting here. The Nuts boys have done tremendously well. And I'll tell you what, Rory and Alex and Dave and Chris, you have been great fun on Robot Wars. This is what it's all about. Look at the enjoyment. And they're still flailing away in there. You could just see Anthony peering forward. In goes the smash. Can they get away with that? They're on their side. Again, the great side. Weaponry almost and wheels righting them. And they're in there, this could go to the judges, it's so close. Only two points, don't forget, if it goes to a judge's decision. Not three, for an outright victory. The little cluster box trying to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get underneath. 
and nearly disappeared out of the arena completely. Good hit. It was a good hit. They've had a few of them. But out comes that mighty weapon. Don't forget Behemoth can pull a Land Rover, can pull one and a half tons we're talking about. Here they say it's more dangerous than ever. Six, five, four, four, three, two, one. Judge's decision. Six. That was a lot of fun. So now it goes <laughs> to the judges, Sethu, Lucy and Noel. They will be marking on control, damage and aggression. A fantastic fight from both teams. That was great. Over to... Yes, I deserve that chip. It went to the judges and the judges decide on three criteria. Their damage, control and aggression. And by unanimous decision, the two points for a winner goes to... Behemoth. Yeah. Behemoth is the winner of that fight. Pick up, guys. Congratulations. With the damage endured by the robots increasing, it is now becoming a game of survival, with teams trying to repair them in time for their next fight. That was a huge amount of fun. We're pleased to get through it. Yeah, it was, definitely. The minibot survived well. We thought one would be flying out of the arena, but just managed to land inside. Six feet into the air. Yeah, the fantastic. Still going. At one point, I drifted into uh, the rear of Matilda, and that just fired me across the arena. Luckily, self right and work to tree. Putting a bit of damage here on the side panel. It is catching on the chain, and that's slowing the drivetrain down, which will reduce our maneuverability. Our attack against Carbide is to try and use our chains to disable their weapon. They're in a bad state. So we think if we can make them impart a lot of energy, wasting it on stuff like our chains, their spinner mechanism will eat itself. And from there, we can just have the main part and the mini bots just go to town, take it to the pit. Halfway through the head-to-heads, it's Nuts against Carbide. Can Nuts change, tangle their way to a victory against the vicious Carbide? <laughs> Carbide is at the cutting edge. The trouble is that weapon can cut themselves to pieces. Uh, I guess I'll let it watch it. And already they're attacking the Nutty Boys. Oh, they've lost the protective ring. They've lost the protective oh, ring. Now that leaves them very, very vulnerable. Oh, dear. Not stay away from danger. That's it, dance the dance, walk the walk. Talk the talk. Stay away, stay away, boys. Do your little self-writing flip. Well, Carbide, oh, I thought he was going to activate the uh, pit release mechanism. No. Wants to potentially inflict more damage and goes slicing in. And Nuts, they're in trouble already. Oh, look at the power. This is one of the strongest, most venomous weapons I've ever seen. The little cluster bots, get out of there. You can take too much, too much. Oh, my goodness me! Down goes the pit. This is damage limitation, and you're not going to limit it. Not like that. Wow! Off comes the wheel. Immobilised. And open to absolute... <laughs> He's praying for the cluster bomb. Well done, lads. Uh, <laughs> Cheers for that. Myself and Andrew are watching this battle in the other control room, and midway through, there's an almighty crash against the glass we're watching. And this was the shard of nuts that had come smashing at us at God knows what speed, right? And it's actually quite razor sharp. Now, let's, um, let's go through this. Firstly, can I return to you the bit of, well, what's remaining well, of your robot that came smashing through the... And I'm guessing off the that's from the flail. It doesn't look very much like it anymore. No, it doesn't <laughs> look really. Uh, now, we'll come to you in a second, right? Uh, firstly, what's all this? <laughs> Our robot isn't working very well. Uh, <laughs> You did, did you? Did you? Was that all a psych out? All I think about our engine isn't working and... No, no, that was that surprised us as well. Really? Yeah. But, Mike, right from the start, it was it was kicking off. Yeah, wow. yeah it was winding up quite nicely then. Yeah, it did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're bullish now, aren't you? <laughs> you've got one more to do against Behemoth, yeah. right? But you've got to presume that in the other head-to-head, -head, mm. the terahertz are going to pick up a fairly easy three points against what's left of nuts. We didn't really think of that. No. <laughs> no. So in some ways, you've made it easy for somebody else to get points by just decimating them. them. We've, yeah. we've got um, the same drive that they've got, so we might end up uh, fixing nuts with them. 
Get rim the going. Get nuts prepared yeah. to fight your opponent. Yeah. This put, is so devious. Put a spinner on his robot and send me. The big one for the quarter of the final has got to be you against Behemoth, and that's what you're going to have yeah. to focus on. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That was astonishing. Do you like jigsaw puzzles? Eh, because the is in charge there. So what can you pull out for this final? We've just got to go down there, see what remains and what we can make out. It may not look anything like it does now or did to start to the, the fight, but we'll get something in the arena. Yep. Do you, are, are either of the cluster bots working? No. no. I, I think they may be irretrievable. I think oh, just, even if you're there. reduced to one tiny cluster box, oh, we can just get some yeah. 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 We can get yeah. something yeah. in the arena. Yeah. OK, we won't see you back in for the, for the last one in yeah. some shape or form. Thank you very yeah. much, Nuts, and congratulations, Carboy. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Behemoth is leading the charge on five points. Terahertz and Carbide are battling for second on three points apiece. And Nuts is struggling at the bottom with no wheels and no points. <laughs> That does not feel attached in any way. But yeah, it'll be fine. That does not look like it before. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. After the brutal damage from their fight, it's a huge repair job, but one that even their rivals are happy to take on.